something from Mitt Romney's past is coming back to haunt him this morning. Apparently, he speaks French fluently because he lived in France in the 1960s. You don't want to show off again now again, do you? Nope, okay. no, nope, no, right. I don't. But actually, if this is wrong, then I don't want to be right. There you, That's wow, all I'm saying. there you go. Uh, apparently, uh, speaking French is not a plus when you're <laughs> running for president. National correspondent Chip Reed is in Washington with more on that. Bonjour, sir. <laughs> yeah, Jeff and Rebecca, I'm going to do this in English, if that's okay with you. <laughs> yes, You know, please. we've been hearing a lot about super PACs recently. They can raise unlimited amounts of money and spend it any way they see fit. And now one Democratic super PAC has decided to spend some of its money attacking Mitt Romney for speaking French. <laughs> to many, Paris is the city of love. But on this side of the Atlantic, the romance has faded, at least when it comes to American politics, where speaking French is taboo. Bonjour, je m'appelle Mitt Romney. This ad showing Mitt Romney speaking French 10 years ago was paid for by a Democratic political action committee in hopes that Republican primary voters will see him as too French. It's not the first time association with France has been political poison. In 2003, the French fries in House of Representatives cafeterias were renamed Freedom Fries to protest French opposition to the Iraq War. And during the 2004 presidential campaign, some Republicans accused John Kerry of looking French to portray him as elite, effete, and out of touch. Laissez les bon temps rouler. The French say all that bashing is unfair, arguing that there might not even be a United States of America if it hadn't been for help from the French during the Revolutionary War. This park is named for the Marquis de Lafayette, a French general who played a crucial role in the war, and it sits on some of the best real estate in Washington, right across from the White House. Romney, for his part, isn't hiding his fluent French. This week in New Hampshire, he spoke with a French-Canadian barber. Speak French? Yes, I do. Uh, yeah, not as well as you do. Romney learned the language when he was in France as a Mormon missionary. Mais votre accent est différent que le mien, parce que j'habitais à, à Paris. Olivier Knox, a French reporter who covers American politics, says he doesn't think the France bashing works, but he also doesn't expect it to stop. There's really very little downside politically or socially to attacking France, uh, whether you're a late night comic or the producer of an attack video for a primary campaign. There simply isn't the kind of pushback from a, a French lobby or even much from French officials if you do that. Now, if you're wondering why Mitt Romney was speaking French on TV a decade ago, he was the head of the U.S. Organizing Committee for the Olympics, and he did a lot of foreign TV interviews. And Jeff and Rebecca, I'll bet you $10,000 Mitt Romney will continue to speak French because one quarter of the population in the all-important primary state of New Hampshire is of French or French-Canadian ancestry. How about there that? There you go. Strategery. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Chip. Good stuff. You Appreciate bet. it.